Now notice we're in Psalm 107, verse 19. <clears throat> then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saves them out of their distresses. Look at verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Look at that. He sent his word and healed them. When did he do that? When Jesus came. Jesus was the word made flesh. And he sent his word. And what did his word do? Went about healing all that oppressed the devil. And then before he got out of here, he had to heal them all. So he went to the whipping post and paid for every person's healing. Every person that was going to come after his death, he paid for their healing. Think about that. He, didn't, he healed them all while he was on this earth. He kept healing. Every time it mentions how many he healed, it says he healed them all. Every time. And so, but before he left, he had to make sure that everybody was covered. And he did that by the stripes on his back. Made sure that every person could be healed. Paid for every person's healing and deliverance. Amen? <clears throat> now we know those... We know that on that cross, we know that those nails and the blood that came out of his body because of those nails, that was on that, when it was on that cross, that was for our salvation in the sense of eternal life. But that blood that came out of his back at the whipping post, that was for our healing. And he paid for that even before he paid for our salvation. Not that it's more important. It just had to be done that way. 